to be a successful fly fisherman, you have to practice a great deal, and then you have to do it every day. Cardiology is no different. You know, we start cardiology training after a long stint in through medical school and internal medicine, and we do general cardiology, and then we spend a couple of years, you know, these days a specialty of cardiology. Cardiology has changed in a lot of different ways in the last few years. You know, when I came out of general cardiology 20, 25 years ago, we used to have a big monitor if you were going to monitor your heart rhythm for, say, even a week or three weeks, it would be the size of a big transistor radio. Now we have little uh, monitors that are half the size of a garage door opener that just attach to your chest, and they're real time. Someone can call up your monitor or someone in a, even a different state can be monitoring your rhythm. A lot of our patients, uh, you know, their health uh, problems are integrated with their other problems in life. And, and these days it's very hard to <clears throat> sort those out. So it's rewarding to help people and, and get them through their medical problems. I like to fly fish. <laughs> fishing like cardiology has a lot of different aspects than regular fishing. You have to uh, read the water. You have to know something about the etymology of the bugs that the fish are eating. You have to um, be patient and also it's a little bit more in tune with nature than regular bait fishing where you know fly fishing it requires some degree of skill to be successful at it. <laughs> Pretty much all these subspecialties of cardiology require us to keep up on these different fields, um, you know, and, and we're kind of interdependent on each other. Our team here at Elkhart General Hospital has been together for several years. Just like a family, if you have a good relationship, then you work well with each other. I mean, you kind of pick the people you work with, and that's very important.